Hi, my name is Dana Thompson from Flowminder Foundation. GridSample is designed for survey practitioners working in low and middle income countries. The tool has a point and click interface and preloaded data sets to help users replicate standard household survey designs. GridSample was developed to improve the accuracy and feasibility of household surveys by first, providing updated, detailed gridded population sample frames from WorldPOP at the University of Southampton. WorldPOP provides a model of population counts in small grid cells for a whole country. Each dataset is modeled using dozens of spatial covariates, each derived from satellite imagery, GIS data, and field-based population counts. WorldPOP estimates counts of people in 100 meter by 100 meter cells, which is about the size of a city block. Second, in complex urban settings, the use of 100 meter population sample frames can improve the measurement of vulnerable and mobile populations by enabling one stage sample designs. By interviewing everyone in a small sampling area, atypical households such as shopkeepers who live in their shops are more accurately sampled. And one stage sampling involves listing and interviewing households on the same day, removing the months long time lag required in standard two stage sampling. One stage sampling also has the advantage of being faster and cheaper than two stage sampling because field work is targeted in small areas. Finally, if the survey results will be used to make small area estimates, grid sample makes spatial oversampling easy, which can improve the accuracy of these spatially disaggregated estimates. My first gridded population survey was in the remote island of Ijwi in the eastern DR Congo in 2010. I chose gridded population sampling out of desperation, really. The last census had been in 1984, and a gridded population data set was the only sample frame that I could find. I had never seen gridded population data used for household survey selection before. Given that the cells have no relationship to features in the real world, I expected the field work to be a bit of a nightmare. However, to my surprise, survey implementation went remarkably smoothly. And around the same time, other household survey teams started to develop approaches to gridded population sampling as well. On Ijwi Island, our field maps were simply printed Google Earth imagery, and field team members, many of whom had never used a computer before, easily learned to navigate these photos from the sky. Over the course of two months, the field team successfully navigated to 50 sampling areas and interviewed 2,100 households. The gridded data set performed extremely well as a sample frame. We found greater population density exactly where we expected it. After the IJWI survey, I was confident that other survey practitioners, particularly in low and middle income countries where outdated or inaccurate census data is common, would find gridded population sampling useful. Between 2012 and 2016, I developed the open source grid sample R package with colleagues from the WorldPOP team. The algorithm allows selection of gridded population surveys, although it requires programming skills and only works for surveys in sub-national areas. But since then, I've worked with Flowminder Foundation to create the grid sample app to put gridded population sampling directly into the hands of survey practitioners. The grid sample app does not require special skills or equipment. It also allows you to use existing census or other sampling unit boundaries by simply uploading your own shapefile. Over the last decade, dozens of survey practitioners have discovered gridded population sampling, often out of necessity when a census sample frame was outdated or inaccurate. Practitioners at the World Food Program in urban DR Congo, World Vision International in rural Mozambique, and Herd International in urban Nepal have all successfully used some version of grid sample to select and implement gridded population surveys. GridSample is a user-friendly, open-source tool designed by and for survey practitioners. Whether you seek an up-to-date sample frame, a one-stage sample design, or spatial oversampling, you can plan and implement your household survey with GridSample. I hope you find the GridSample app as helpful and easy to use in the field as we have. Let us know how you get on!